Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can add a background image to a form in your Squarespace website. We'll be using the CSS listed in the description below, but there are some key parts of this code that you'll want to change. So I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to set this up in your own Squarespace website. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace and I have a basic form right here on my website. Now to add this code in the description below, we're gonna to navigate to website, then we'll select website tools, then custom CSS. The first part of this code just says SQS block form. That's the name of this form inside Squarespace. I'm gonna open up a curly bracket and we need to add a background image. I'm gonna say URL and open up a parentheses, but we need the URL for the image. So we have to upload it to our custom files right here above CSS. I'm going to click custom files and I'll click the plus sign or you can drag and drop a file here. Your file is going to upload. And the reason why I recommend doing this is that your file will be hosted on the same server that all of your website content is. So I'm gonna click on the background form and immediately we'll see a background added to the form, but it does not look great. We're only seeing part of the image. What I wanna do next is change the background size. I'm gonna say background size cover. Now background size cover is going to make sure that it fits either the horizontal or the vertical edges of this background. I can also say contain, but if I add contain, you might get a repeating image. This blue here and this blue here, they're actually the same mountains that are repeating in this particular background image. And I don't like that repeat. So I prefer to say background size cover. Now, the other thing that I wanna mention here is that this is right up against the edge for my background form. We can add padding with CSS, but I'd rather use the Squarespace editor to do that. I'll select save, we'll select edit, and I'm gonna double click on this form. Clicking on the design tab, if I scroll down here, I can toggle on background. And immediately you'll notice I'm not getting a background color, but I'm getting that padding built into Squarespace right here. So if you don't like the small, medium, or large padding options, click on these three dots and you can manually adjust the padding, top and bottom versus left and right, Again, I recommend doing this in the editor. Just double click on your form, select design and toggle on background. It will say background color, but we're overriding that with our image. And here we've added some padding. You can also give it a little curve on a border radius if you'd like to. Adding a 30, adding a 30 pixel curve will curve the corners there, or you can change them individually, super customizable. After you've added some padding, select save, select exit, and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to create this effect in Squarespace. Just make sure you change that placeholder text for the URL for the image that you've uploaded to your own Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.